Good morning, and welcome to the Landmark Theater. My name is Richard Paris, and I'm the Executive Director of Center Stage Foundation. And this morning, we are inside a true Richmond icon, the Landmark Theater. This venerable theater has welcomed to its stage famous performers and leaders from around the world. They have included Pakistan's former Prime Minister, Benazir Bhutto, and former President George Herbert Walker Bush to pop culture icons like Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley. This amazing venue has been woven into the cultural tapestry of the city of Richmond for over 85 years. Center Stage Foundation is proud to include the landmark as part of our ensemble of venues under the umbrella of the Center Stage Performing Arts Center and we are proud to share news of its future today. It is also with this morning's exciting announcement that we launch our Landmark and Legacies Capital and Endowment Campaign, which will help to restore this grand theatrical venue, but also cement the cultural legacy of Center Stage as it fulfills its mission to foster a lifetime of engagement in the arts through dynamic programming, fostering transformational educational outreach experiences, and collaborative community partnerships. All of this would not be possible, however, if it were not for the leadership of Mayor Dwight Jones and the support of City Council led by Council President Kathy Graziano. Even before this public announcement, the landmark and several of Center Stage's constituents have shown generous support for its renovation, foundations, individuals, and corporate citizens. And it's this very collaboration that is critical to the success of the project. We are fortunate this morning to have with us some very special people who understand the importance of the performing arts in Richmond. Today I am joined by Marty Barrington, Chairman and CEO of Altria. Altria is a company that believes in the power of the arts and understands the impact that they as a corporate citizen can have on our society and on our community. So it is with great excitement that I announce Altria's decision to partner with Center Stage Foundation and the City of Richmond as the naming rights sponsor for this beautiful venue. This soon to be renovated Altria Theater will represent a $10 million leadership contribution on the part of Altria. And I'd like to thank Marty and the entire Altria family for their generosity and commitment to the City of Richmond, Center Stage Foundation, and this historic theater. Altria has been a supporter of Center Stage and our artistic and educational programs from the very beginning. We are grateful for their continued commitment and support of the performing arts at our venues and throughout the city. So with that said, I'd like to welcome Marty to the podium to talk about Altria's decision to continue this philanthropic support with this leadership gift to our campaign. And he will be followed by remarks from the Honorable Mayor Dwight Jones. Good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, Altria Group and its family of companies and uh, our 9,000 employees, many of whom live in this community, it's a great privilege to be here to represent them this morning. Uh, I'd like to begin by acknowledging Mayor Jones, as well as other officials who are here, as well as many individuals, actually, who are here this morning who have worked very hard to bring this very important project uh, to our announcement today. Uh, everyone at Altria Group is really proud to be a part of this effort. It represents a great collaboration between the public and the private sectors uh, to make our community uh, what it is and what it can be in the future. I think as many of you know, uh, Altria and its companies have a long history uh, in Richmond. Uh, Philip Morris USA actually uh, uh, began operations here in 1929, longer than uh, this theater. And uh, we've uh, been proud to call thousands and thousands of Richmond area residents, our colleagues and our friends and our employees, so it's a special morning. You know, since 2004, Altria has actually increased its investment uh, in the Richmond community. We've brought, as many of you know, the Philip Morris USA headquarters here from New York City. We subsequently brought Altria's headquarters itself here from New York City. We've also added two headquarters more, which are the companies that we acquired in U.S. Tobacco and uh, John Middleton. And so I think you can see we believe in Richmond. 
Um, and so it's no surprise, I think, that we're pleased to be here to be a part of this effort this morning. Um, Altree is a mission-driven company, and one of our mission goals is called investing in communities. We want to make the communities where we do business uh, leading environments where our employees live and work and raise their families. And so we see this morning's announcement as an important step as we move towards achievement of that goal. Uh, Altria, uh, many of you know, also has a long history of supporting arts and culture. Uh, in fact, we've been at it for more than five decades. So this is spot on strategy for us and it's really a nice way to bring all of those strategies together. And then finally, what I would say is all of us at Altria uh, hope and expect and believe that the renovation of this theater, the Altria Theater, <laughs> is really going to prove to be a catalyst for further economic development. Um, it won't just be uh, tourists, although, as the mayor's pointed out on several occasions, that can be a real catalyst for economic growth here but also those of us who live and work here. Uh, and it won't be just the theater. It'll be bringing people to our great hotels and our restaurants and our historical locations and our cultural events, and that's good for everyone. So um, in closing, thank you very much for inviting me to speak. We're so proud to be a part of this partnership, and now it's uh, my great privilege to turn the podium over to the mayor, the Honorable Dwight C. Jones. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm happy to be here today on this uh, momentous occasion and for the first time to be in the Altria Theater. Uh, I've known that under uh, two different names, now the third name, and I think this is the best one. And so we're very happy to be here. So thank you for being here, Marty. It's a pleasure to be with you and your team, Richard. And as I look out into the audience, I see other per persons who were very uh, central in making sure that this happened, Joe. And Tom, thank you so much for all uh, of the work that you have done to get us to uh, this point. This is an exciting day. It's an exciting day for us to be able to announce this $10 million investment that's going to help protect one of the great historical resources of our city. You know, we began talking about the renovation of the landmark or the Altria Theater <laughs> during our budgeting process and during our budgeting process we recognize the need uh, to have this theater restored and so we thought that we would show a little budgetary magic uh, by allowing people to see how you can take a 14 million dollar investment and turn it into a 50 million dollar investment and so the city is putting their money in but they are joined by our corporate partners and by uh, the wonderful opportunity for uh, tax credits to make all of this uh, happening today that is happening today. The naming rights was a very important part of our strategy and we're very happy today to say that Altria recognized uh, the wonderful opportunity to be a part of this by making a significant investment and so Marty we want to thank you and your team for uh, stepping up to uh, the plate. This investment is extremely uh, important because it is a driver for economic development. It will bring jobs. It will bring people into downtown Richmond. I'm not telling you anything new when I tell you about Wicked and the Lion King and about the 3,000 people uh, that have been attracted downtown, the $6 million economic impact that it will uh, bring to the area. But not only Lion King and Wicked, but it's also a venue for concerts and shows. It's also a venue for people to gather in the city because it is the largest uh, place that we have in, in, the, in the region. And so the last time I was in the theater, as a matter of fact, I was with 1,000 senior citizens downstairs dancing the night away. And so uh, it is a wonderful uh, venue that we cannot afford to lose. I also want to say a word about the importance of having uh, taken care of the things that needed to be taken care of here at the landmark, such as fire and the suppression system, plumbing and the electrical system. All of these things were in a deteriorated state and uh, had uh, impact on whether the uh, theater would be able to continue or not. And so with this 
uh, announcement today, we are able to look forward to a bright future. And we've talked a lot in Richmond about being the center of creativity and a cultural hub, and this kind of impacts that. And it's no mistake that the Altria Theater is in the middle of the cultural district, and it's going to cause our ideas about being a cultural hub and a center for creativity to go even further. And I hope that this announcement today, I would not be a good mayor if I did not say this, will encourage other corporate entities uh, to step up to the plate and model their behavior after Altria. Uh, Altria's philanthropy uh, today provides a wonderful example uh, of the strength and the involvement of our corporate community. And Richmond has a wonderful corporate community, but Altria is perhaps one of our most outstanding corporate citizens and as Marty has suggested today, they are not just a corporate entity that has an address in the city, but they are a corporate entity that has great impact on the life and the culture of our city. And for this, we are deeply grateful. We can't thank Altria enough for their involvement in this regard. And so today is the beginning of the Altria Theater, and we look forward to many days and great nights as we come to enjoy ourselves at the Altria. Thank you very much. So thank you for coming this morning, and uh, members of Altria and Center Stage and the city will be around uh, after the conclusion of the press conference uh, to answer any individual questions, and certainly we can take you on some brief uh, tours of some of the areas that will be included in the renovation and the restoration. So thank you so much.